Okay, so side plank, often uh, done improperly, okay? The angle and the way you set up and the way you execute it is super important, all right? So I prefer to actually do these off of the knee. Um, more often than not, people that really need to do these, uh, they're not strong enough to do them off of their feet anyways. Um, so really you can get the benefit of this uh, just by going off the bottom knee. So you're gonna lay on your side, directly on your side. I'm on my hip bone. I got my elbow directly under my shoulder. I wanna push my shoulder away from my ear. I'm staying active through here. And I got my legs stacked on top of each other, okay? We are going to bend the bottom leg, the leg that's on the ground. We're gonna bend that knee directly at 90 degrees, okay? And then the top leg is gonna float, all right? It's gonna be in the air. And we're gonna bridge off of the outside of that bottom knee. Now I'm gonna drive through my elbow and I'm gonna drive through that knee to lift my body up to create an arc of tension down the side of my body. I like to open this hand up and point it directly to the ceiling to make sure that I'm staying open because a lot of times people wanna hunch forward to try to put more on the hip flexor and the front side of their core, which is typically stronger. So they'll teeter forward and hunch over. I like to open my arm up to make sure that I'm staying open and that I'm concentrating on the lateral portion of the core, which is what we wanna do here. So I'm driving through that knee hard. I'm driving up nice and high, trying to pick my ribs up in this top leg floats and my arms up to the ceiling. The last thing we wanna do is make sure you are pushing your hips forward. A lot of people will bend and they'll hinge at the hips a little bit while they do this. You wanna make sure that you are pushing your hips, extending the hips completely forward. So we're squeezing both glutes as hard as we can here as well to make sure that the hips are fully forward and locked out.